blooper reel. This is Sir Blooper, which is my real name on my birth certificate. And I'm going to be playing some Fallout 4 DLC, which I have never played or beaten before. I don't know anything about it. I'm going to spill rum on my phone. Following total atomic annihilation, Do you know anything about this game? Of this great Here, actually, when I play, I usually leave one ear open you. so I can... Oh, um, at have prepared these educational materials oh, for you to oh. better understand anyway the seven oh I should I should probably special. get that off hi we're here we exist we're here we're queer get used to it got your rabbit's foot good it's so it takes place in a post-apocalyptic America what happens is, what happens is like in it's a different it's a completely different timeline in this universe instead of inventing the transistor and microchips they use nuclear power for everything so they had nuclear powered cars all the grids were nuclear powered instead of power plant sounds yeah but they were burning through resources really fast the US and China and eventually, between them and Russia and China, like, a nuclear war happened. And this takes place 200 years after the nuclear war, when you wake up in a vault. Uh, is it because the controller's plugged in? I guess it is. And you wake up in this vault. All the vaults were these certain experiments. The plot of this particular fallout was that you, your wife, and your kid baby all make it into the vault right before the bombs drop. You all get cryogenically frozen. You wake up, you see somebody kill your wife and steal your baby, and then you get frozen and wake up again. You're on the quest to find him. But I've done and beaten all that, so we're on to other stuff now. We're doing <laughs> downloadable content. Got to move my I've been a long time. My shoulders are so sore. So as you notice, I don't use my name in the stream. I will use Elmer the Cat's name, though. Because I file him as a dependent on my taxes. So I don't exactly know what this downloadable content is, but you can have companions in the game. Wow, that is that's that's moving weirdly fast. To the point where I don't like it. Gameplay controls sensitivity, maybe. And this is in this area of the game. There's synths, synthetic people, and he's a detective. And he started, and he got a really weird call hey, out here. Do something for you? Yeah, because he's deteriorating because he's made of like foam, rubber, and synthetic hey, stuff. Hey, There's something bothering you. Your thoughts? We should head over to the Nakano residence when we can. Find out what their case is about. Let's check on our relationship. Is everything all right between us? Got no major complaints at the moment. That is a stellar review. <laughs> that was all I had. All right. That's how I refer to all my friends. I'm just like, we ha I have no major complaints at the moment. <laughs> Is that a, those people? Raider veteran. Oh, those are bad guys. I got something for them. I got something for them. So I could snipe them, or I could use my penetrating fat man on them. You remember what the fat man is? No? 
Okay, no, um, it was one of the nuclear bombs uh, dropped yes. yeah, in World War II, right? So, I am going to fire that at this guy. That didn't kill one of them. I can't believe he survived that. Actually, could you stand still for just one second, sir? There we go. Wonderful. Oh, her arm blew off in the explosion. Oh no, the other arm blew off. <laughs> Anything you can't haul my way. Just stealing shit. Where is this thing leading me? I don't want to just go into the water. Oh, the truck just exploded. Guess because I hit it with a bomb earlier? Do I look like a wasteland hipster with my glasses? I think I look pretty sweet. Whoops. That's not entirely my fault. To be fair, they were standing there. I'm keeping my gun out because this is kind of creepy. See, here's why you can't step in the water too long. You get radiation per second by standing in it because it's all irradiated. Everything in the world is irradiated still. You won't think so when we're living it. I hit this guy. No. Oh, there's so many. They are people who have been so affected by the radiation that they are all burned and a radiation bur radiation burns and they're feral because they've just lost their mind. And they are so irradiated that they can't die until you kill them. Like they're almost immortal. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> See, that one's glowing though. What's that? Where the fuck did he go? Do you see that? He disappeared. Yeah. Uh. What is it? I don't think we're alone. You think, Nick? I'm shooting someone, buddy. All right, I shot his leg off. Whatever it was, it's gone now. All right, let me just try to put this guy in his misery. There's something out there. Am I anywhere near my destination, by the way? Uh, oh, it's up off the map. Okay. Weird. No, I've just, I've never been over here. Uh, how do I, how do I a quick save? I think it's like F5 to quick save? Yeah, okay. 
That way, before I do something stupid, I can quick save. Oh, that's not a person. Log. Just a scary log. <laughs> I cannot go that. How am I supposed to, what? How am I supposed to get over here? What? What if I walk through this? But, no. I want to remove the marker from there. Remove marker, thank you. Okay. Uh, maybe if I follow the regular route? Oh, no, it's over here. What? I am thoroughly confused. Is it just how you get lost in games? I get hop up all these rocks. I say, I feel like it's gonna tell me the same thing. It's gonna be like, you can't travel that way. Well, that's where I die. Okay, Google, how do I get to the Nakano residence? It says the elevated freeway. Oh, I made that strong. Was a bird. Alright, so he wants me to pay to get past them all. Should I pay or should I just do what I normally do? I shoot them all to death. They're raiders, so they purposely they, they fuck people up. Too many folks these days that. count on violence Please, to solve their problems. You only have to look around to see where that goes. He's saying we're just farmers trying to get home, but they're all ravers. Oh, wait. Oh, no. They're fighting the farmers. There are actual farmers there. Ooh! Well, now I feel mostly bad. I was aiming for the guy in the back. The farmer ran in front of me and I shot his head off. See him? Uh, did anyone live? Nick, do you want this guy's head? Yeah, I think I fucked that up. I'm a good guy. <laughs> I don't know how to get there. I, it says you can't go that way. Let's let's Google it.
Oh, okay. Uh, let me reload my save down there. No, no, I'm supposed to be able to go in by that fence. I might have to play something else. I don't want to, but I might have to. Just let me in that damn fence. Okay, I saw something moving over there. Did you look that up? Okay, can you do you see a house out here? All right, great mods, mods. Uh, I guess let me go back to the main screen. Add-ons? I have Far Harbor. I have to scroll so far back for my birthday now. <laughs> Okay, so it's just not working. I have Far Harbor, I don't know what to do. He's like every Skyrim character? I didn't know that. I mean, I love Nick as a companion. Is there a way to just shut off every mod once? Disable all mods. Oh god, is there a way to enable all mods or am I going to have to do that manually? Alright, so let's uh, disable all mods. Hey Vampric, welcome! Oh good, it worked. I wouldn't have picked up on that. He doesn't sound like anyone in Skyrim to me. I don't know. I'm good. We're drinking. How are you doing tonight? Great. Kind of sarcastic to me. <laughs> this game relies. Continue loading. Yeah, sure. Let's try it, huh? Let's see if this stupid thing is there. I'm not going to get to this house. That's terrifying. That's how I want to be buried. I spin him around? Yeah. It's nice. It's nice. Oh yeah, I have the crotch back there. And a torso. Okay. <laughs> okay, I shut off all the mods, now it's letting me walk back here. But now all my junk has weight to it because I got all this junk in this trunk. And now I'm walking really slow because I'm over encumbered by shit. Crocker went amateur butcher on poor Earl. Moments like this, I'm glad I'm not made of meat. Son of a bitch. Ugh. Climb. Climb. Oh god, there's the house. 
Everything's for sale, my friend. Everything. If I had a sister, I'd sell her in a second. <laughs> it's a joke. Sorry for showing you all that. Like I'm like, hey, look at all, look at this cool game. Let me reload my mods. <laughs> Let me fuck around here. No, there's no way to enable all mods. Okay, enter, enter. Okay, that's not as hard as I thought it was, but still. All right, that's fine. I'll just delete that one since I don't have the DLC for it. What a fun stream. Sorry. Can I sell Nick all my excess dragon bones that I have, like, no fucking room for? Oh, wait. You like Game of Thrones. I should have just played Skyrim. That's, like... Bethesda was kind of, I think, going to make a Game of Thrones game. They're like, no, we're going to make Skyrim instead. Our game. And it feels like it, because it's always winter up there in Skyrim. It's very Nordic. If it glitches, I'm gonna I'm gonna be so mad and I'm gonna boot up Skyrim. If it doesn't work again. I just wanna play this fucking DLC. I've never played Far Harbor. Sleeping in a rented or owned bed will give you a well-rested bonus that boosts your earned XP for a limited time. For for a limited time. <laughs> There's a typo down there. That boosts your XP for for a limited time. How embarrassing. I can't believe I paid $60 for this game. Like three years ago. <laughs> No, Jesus. I was wondering where the fuck you were, Nick. I would I would love that mod. Can I turn all the Mire Lurks in this game into mud crabs? And all the mud crabs in... Er, and all the um, feral ghouls in this game into uh, Ulfric? Damn it! Come in! I know you're listening on the other end. Where is she? Where is my daughter? Kenji, please. You've been at this for hours. Stop. You need sleep. She's out there, Ray. Fear not. Your savior is here. In his fedora and glasses. Oh, it's 2077. Or that's, that's when the bombs dropped. I uh, so. hope you don't mind. We let ourselves in. Nick, thank God. You need to get to work right away. She could be hurt. She could be... Whoa, whoa, slow down. Uh, can be worse. I hope you were smarter than that. Uh, let me load my save. Thank God for quick saves. I thought I could kill her, in my defense. Thank God. <laughs> you need to get to work right away. Know. She could be hurt. I just she thought it would be amusing. Whoa, whoa, slow down. Uh, Kenji, was it? Why did you go over the details with me and my partner here? You have to get to work right away, Detective. So, what's the story with you and Nick? Nick didn't tell you? Ran with him on one of his cases a few years back. Searching for some sort of lost heirloom. He needed a boat. Things didn't end well. We were double-crossed by the client once we had what he was looking for. I still have some lead lodged into my hip. That sounds cool. Right. Yeah, it's starting to come back to me. Sorry, things ended sour. We got out. 
That's all that mattered. And now you can return the That's favor crazy. I can't even hear him as Bellathor right now. Be sarcastic? I guess I'm here to help. We're here to help. Tell us what happened. It's all thanks to this damn radio. Our daughter Kasumi likes to fix things. The radio was her latest project. Until she made Kasumi a Godo? kidnapper who lured her away from us. Or maybe she left on her own. She's not a child anymore. Our Fallout actually takes place after Mass Effect. I think Mass Effect is in like 2150? I... No, it's even sooner. It's like 2080. She, she wanted her own life. No, she would have told us where she was going. She would have said... Best of luck, F Jack. I know my daughter is in danger. I can feel it. Find her, please. Should I ask him for money? It's yellow, so I have a chance at failing this. If it's, if it's regular color, it's fine. He'll answer. If it's yellow, there's a chance to fail. And if it's red, it's a really high chance of failing. Should I ask him something else? Should I ask for money? Are you all right? <laughs> All right, let's ask if he has any leads, I guess. Any idea where she could have gone. We know she took one of the boats, Ow. but that's all. She could be anywhere. Okay, let me sail the fucking ocean. <laughs> we'll find her. Don't you worry. Thank you. Nick, get the her boat. room is upstairs if that helps. And if you had any more questions about her, just ask. Don't worry, Kenji. We'll get to the bottom of this. Just sit tight. Mrs. Nakano. I suppose you have questions about my daughter. That is literally what I'm here for. You and your husband don't seem to agree about why your daughter left. <sighs> we both want to find her. The world out there isn't a place where you want to be alone. But Kenji still sees her swaddled in diapers. He doesn't see Ew. a young woman with her own decisions to make. Maybe because it's more frightening. She oh, I thought that was his kink. Without telling us. That was her choice. She didn't want us to follow. Why? Tell me more about this radio your daughter was working on. I remember Kasumi <laughs> was very excited about it. I figured she was secretly trying to make contact with Diamond City or another settlement. We're pretty isolated out here. She only has us for company and Kenji can be overprotective. I'd like to know more about Kasumi. Like, shine a light on where she's gone. Her likes, her dislikes, her bust size. Focused, careful. That's how I know she's still alive. But why would she leave without telling us? Maybe we... No. Maybe you put her in too many diapers. Uh, I have a higher chance to fail that one, but I think I'm going to answer it, ask it anyway. Because it could be relevant to the case. You just tell me. Every detail is important, Mrs. Nakano. Don't hold back. It's just that we've been fighting a lot more. All of us. Ever since Kasumi's grandfather passed away, he was the Playing only with the radio she invented. Talk to her. Kenji and I don't understand machines, but those two could work together for hours. She started staying in her grandfather's boathouse late into the night. I thought she was just trying to cope with the loss, but... Now I wonder what she was up to. Eating rusty fish hooks. <laughs> Nothing else right now. Oh, now I don't have to investigate their evidence because I passed that check. Whoops. Let me just put that away. Mr. Nakano. Did you have questions about my daughter? Howdy, hey. Oh, let's ask about a radio. Radio she was fixing. I've tried to get that damn thing to work over and over again, but there's nothing. I thought she just wanted to strip it for parts or build a toaster out of it or something, like she usually does. Someone made contact with her, and then they took her. When your toast is done, the radio plays. What kind of twisted psychopath has my daughter? Uh, let's. No more questions right now. Work quickly, detective. Right. You didn't tell me what to do, man. You hired me, sucker. I know. Luckily, I never uninstalled it. I just had to deal with a lot of mods and updates. Want the globe? Yeah, I'll take the globe. No accounting for days. <laughs> fine. Fine. Uh, TV dinner tray. I'll take that too. 
because they're useful in building shit. Uh -oh. Look, what's this? Oh, look, she has a Asumi Projects radio. Let's see, R to play it. I'll put that in my little... Project log? Radio. Correction? Working. Radio. I'll finally get some news outside this house. My handle is going to be... Let's go with... Ohm's Law. That should confuse the creep. And if someone actually gets the reference, then we'll at least have circuitry in common. Alright, what's this one? Project log, lamp. Yep, it's a lamp. Filament plus power equals light. I swear, sometimes I think my parents break these things and <coughs> keep me busy. Alright. Need more of those tapes? Uh, I can't sleep in this bed because it's owned. Hi, Nick. Thanks for helping me up there, buddy. Project log. Kitchen mixer. The circuits are still good, but all the mechanical parts are rusted through. Maybe I can... All right, everyone. I'll be back in a few days. Was there anything else we needed from the city? Wait, you're going now? No! Wait, Dad, I could come with you. I... It is better if I go alone, Kasumi. Do not worry. I have your list. You, you don't know what half that list is, Dad. I can help you. Really, I'll be... I said no. Cat's trying to turn you in for all the piracy. I love you. I love you too, Cat. Nothing but static. Figures whoever Kasumi was talking to wouldn't be taking calls once she took off. I'm gonna say it's just a shitty radio. Wait, where's the boathouse? Oh. Man, that's spooky. I don't want to go up there. Do you think anything is in there? <laughs> Krampus? Uh, great. Okay, then. If it's going to be Krampus, then I want to get my shotgun out. <laughs> Uh, let's search the picture frame. You find a key hidden within the frame. Hidden key, huh? Good work. Gotta find whatever it unlocked. I've been watching that dumb show with him called Ghosted, and it's pretty funny. If you can understand that it's like a sitcom with paranormal stuff. It's still cheesy sit sit sitcom shit, but it's fun seeing uh, Adam Scott in something else. Playing Adam Scott that believes in ghosts. Wait, I found a key. What did they tell me to do with the key? I wasn't paying attention. Oh. <sighs> they have those everywhere. Hi, Nick. Oh. Oh. Nope, that wasn't it. Oh my god, Nickel. Yes, and they use the purple sticky goo. Uh, Nickel is our ginger friend. Let's listen to this tape. Project log? Um, myself. I never really thought about who or what I am, but God, 
Oh my god, maybe she's a synth. The radio. I was right about the range. I managed to signal from Just very calm and cool, but very frustrated with your teammates not listening to you and running ahead anyway. Thanks, Maine. They're trying to build a place for their kind, where they can be themselves and be accepted for what they are alongside human beings. They're kind. Oh, she wants to help out the Siths. But then they started asking about me, and some questions came up. Questions I don't have answers to. I mean, I've always felt off, like I'm not really supposed to be here, but then... Okay, Nick Valentine is a gener an early generation synth, like a not a synth, not a, not quite a Gen One, but not quite a Gen Two. So he's deteriorating. You can tell he's a robot. She wants to meet with the synths. That's like meeting somebody online. Don't go with a predator to a second location. But a lot of the part, big part in this game is that the synths got so advanced you couldn't tell if they were people or synths. Have you seen Blade Runner? Harrison Ford, original, I don't know, it's kind of like the replicants of that, like, they're identical, if you cut them open, you'll find synth parts or whatever, but they eat, they sleep, they're day to day, you can't tell, they're blending in with society, and some people don't like that. So, like, Nick, nobody minds, they still think he's a synth, they don't like him in society, but they like that you can tell at least that he's a synth. So it seems like she was trying to help them, and they lured her away, and she ran away with them. Can I shoot her as fish? Uh, I didn't do anything. Have you finished your investigation? Yeah, some sense kidnapped your daughter. Is Kasumi human? That's what I was wondering, too. I need to ask you an important question. Are you sure your daughter is human? What kind of question is that? Why are you asking? Your daughter made contact with a group of synths. She thinks she's one of them. What? That's... that's crazy. She's not a synth. She's our daughter. We raised her... Their eyes look really good. I gave birth to her. She's flesh and blood, not a synthetic. Are you sure that you're not synths and your memory implants say that you gave birth to her? I'm the detective here. <laughs> Since are still people, are you sure she was replaced? Maybe she's confused. Uh, I don't know. Like, what would you lean toward? Do you think that she's been replaced and that she's a synth, or do you think um, that she's just a human and confused? Say something? Like, I don't think she'll... You know, so you think that she's probably just a confused teen? Let's see. Maybe your daughter is just confused. Having an identity crisis. Oh, God. Does she even... Like, when they think that they're an anarchist. what I was afraid of. Someone twisting my daughter's mind. Did you like a cotton candy machine. <laughs> I think I know where Kasumi went. A place called Far Harbor. She went that far up north? God, that explains why she took the boat. You have to go after her. Please, take my other ship on the dock outside. My father's design. Oh my god, Nigel. <laughs> and it is built for distance. Uh, let me be sarcastic just to be a dick. I know your daughter's missing and she might be a synth and she might be dead, but... A magic boat ride? While I know the seas aren't exactly... He didn't acknowledge that. that boat can get He's like, uh... Account. You I asshole. Know. I know you haven't asked for payment, and we can't offer much, but here... Give me the house. Take it. I insist. For expenses, if nothing else. Give me I know my partner oh, here is a little glib. But we won't rest until we get to the bottom of this. You two have my word. Fine, Kasumi. Please. Alright, so before I go, two of my quest things are to tell. Wait, what? It told me to tell the railroad about the Synth Refuge within the Brotherhood. Or I could probably only do one or the other. I am going to go tell the railroad, though. Nickel, he's literally melting. He's like... It's like that scene in Mrs. Doubtfire where Robin Williams sticks his face in the pie and it's melting off. That's Nick Valentine's face 24-7.
Tom needs me. He keeps bugging me about it. All right, buddy. Hey there, champ. Excuse me. I hope you weren't followed. Good hideouts like this are hard to come by. <clears throat> Ticker Tom's cooking up something. I hope it goes better than last time. Hi. Hi. There you are. Oh, wait, I gotta tell you something first off. Hi. Hey there. Hey, you're Charmer, right? I've been looking for you. Name's Boxer. Boss called me in on account. There's word that there's some kind of colony of synths way up the coast. Yes, I just own. heard that 15 minutes ago. Like that. There's a girl named Kasumi Nakano. I don't normally wear this outrageous outfit, but it was better armor than my current outfit, so I'm willing to look insane for better armor. The name doesn't ring a bell. Just saying. If she is a synth, doesn't sound like we ever helped her. But I guess those stories really are getting around, huh? I guess. keep my ear to the ground. You do the same. If you get anything concrete, let me know, okay? All right, and the other guy wanted to actually talk to me for some reason. We got too many keys to be a scam. Wait, no, does that just leave me out? Okay, let's shut off that one and let's go to tell the Brotherhood about the synth refuge. Hopefully this leads me out quickly. Okay, so I fixed this, so we're not going to hop on Skyrim, but we could talk about Game of Thrones anyway. Because the, what, the tentative release, release date is April or May of next year? That, yeah, that, but like that, that it's rumored, because that's usually when it comes out, right? Might be. Just, uh, yeah, it's gonna be a lot of lot of not only just actual special effects effects, but editing too. A lot of cutting for it to make sense. A lot of footage to go through, I imagine. Um, especially wrapping everything up. Some of the last episodes are gonna be two hours, aren't they? I mean, okay. yeah, there's gonna be at least one two-hour episode, one full-length movie episode because they're gonna have they're, they're gonna have less episodes but what at least one of them is gonna be two hours one of them this year was an hour a, an hour 10 an hour 15 yeah. yeah uh season one episode one is 70 or 75 minutes the very first episode is longer okay. yeah because they had a bit more stuff in it's definitely longer uh a lot of people were really upset. So many people are like spoiled in a title because like this season we got a couple shorter episodes. Like we got like 50, 50 minute episodes instead of normal 60 minutes. Uh, and then like they're like, oh, tonight's going to be a longer episode. It was like 62 minutes and people were pissed about that. It's like, hey, yeah, you're paying for HBO, but come on. Like, what do you want? What do you want them to do? So, I mean, this next season is only going to be seven episodes, I think, right? Last season was eight. So this one's going to be one shorter, but they're going to have at least a very long one. Um, the final one. And then HBO got greenlit for a um, prequel show. Yeah, you did. All right, so this, this group is called the Brotherhood of Steel. And they believe in hoarding technology and keeping it for themselves to keep it safe. And they'd like to act as, like, judge, jury, and executioner. Like, they're like, we have earned the technology. And we are in a giant flying airship right now. Which is what they fly around patrolling the wasteland with, see? Which is scary, because no one elected to them this. They got the power, so they do it. And here's the armor that they wear. By the way, can you hear any of this? Do you have your? Yes. Okay, I just, I, I just want to. I just realized. I'm like, I don't know if I have that hooked <laughs> up.
Oof. Too soon, half jack. R.I.P. I don't know how I'll warn these guys. They're kind of dicks, but. Remember, these squires are the future of the Brotherhood. Okay, whatever, whatever. I heard something about Sans in the north. I heard I heard some something about White Walkers in the north. I have a situation I need to report. Proceed. Have you heard of Far Harbor? Have you heard anything about a, a town up north? But Far Harbor, like north beyond the Commonwealth. No. Maisie Williams filmed her last scene recently, right? and she tweeted about it. Um, I can't remember his name. The guy who plays the mountain, Synth calling herself, uh, Half Thor or something. Fled the Commonwealth. He just filmed his last scene, and he said it was his favorite scene he's filmed in the entire show. So everyone on Reddit was freaking out, and they're like, um, the game bowl, obviously. Everyone still wants the Hound and Mountain to fight. The like, game bowl should happen, and they should do air horns. Did that really wake up my phone? A message woke up my phone? Or is my phone just waking up for the hell of it? I oh, appreciate just... your attention, Knight. Sorry, sorry. There are rumors about some. Um, who do you think is gonna die in the last season? It's not enough that we have to uh, root them out here. Supposed to now we need to worry about them surfacing Should elsewhere. We need confirmation, shape. not rumors. Or last girl standing yeah. or something? Yeah, I, I saw that. I think she meant she was one of the last people wrapping up filming, though. I don't. I think that they would. I think. I think the directors of the show would go to her house as faceless men and murder her. <laughs> If she posted a, an end season spoiler, a final season spoiler, David and David would you murder her. To say? Motherfucker! How do you suggest I proceed? Investigate these. Rooms. I'm talking here. Travel north if necessary. Uh, Bring me something actionable, and I assure you the Brotherhood will deal with it. I don't know if I wanted to kill the. Si oh no, he's gonna do it. Abomination. Well, good afternoon to you too. Oh, that's. You're gonna talk shit to Nick right to his face, you dickhole. Anyway, um. She did post that. I don't know if that means that she'll live, though. She might. I was kind of thinking Daenerys might have to die for all this. All her House of the Undying stuff in the books and the show that she sees. Oh, yeah. Like, like, George R. R. Martin has always said the ending is gonna be bittersweet. Do you think the directors would want to keep with that vision, or do you think they're going to make it, like, all happy ending and, like, John and Daenerys are married, and they have the perfect utopia oh, no. now? <laughs> and, and, and Bran can walk again. And they pull a curtain aside, and they're like, and Hodor's alive! <laughs> it's just, they just, <laughs> they can ruin it. Like, last season was really good. I had some issues with it, as some fans did, like Daenerys' travel times. But it was still a good season. Figures. Yeah, they've been, they've been doing that for a long time, though, because otherwise it's like, what are we going to do, show them on the road for an episode, and waste an episode? Uh, I mean, he obviously has a magic carpet. The TARDIS. Why does he have the TARDIS? Like, it's depressing, but I think Daenerys will probably die in the end. I think Jon will live. I don't think he'll I kill her. Um, Azir is I? Should I kill this cat? No. Should I shoot right in the face? You sure? I could shoot it. Wait, no, no, no. Fixed it. <laughs> Alive again. No, it has nine lives. See? <laughs> Hi, little baby. I can't pet it. I don't think he'll kill her like Azor's eye. A lot of people were saying they think Jamie will do that with Cersei. Yeah. But I'm. Jamie, what? But do you think that's all, like, legends? 
of like, oh, he plunged a sword into her chest and pulled out a flaming sword. Like, do you think he'll really pull out a magical flaming sword after not being magical? Or do you think he'll just kill her and also go on to, like, be a hero and have to fight and be a general? Like, I wonder how much is, like, this was all legend back in the day that we think is amazing. Or fuck it, what if the White Walkers win? <laughs> I mean, then I just had the intuition of Yeah, was that snow or ash though from Dragon? That was that was way back in season two. That was in Hearth, right? Um, there were more visions in the book. I'm glad they didn't do this for the show. One of the visions in the book was she. I'm moving. She saw a king with an iron crown and a wolf's head, clutching a drumstick. All covered in blood and plucked with arrows. That's obviously spoiler for a four-year-old episode and fifteen-year-old book. Rob, right? Yes. Uh, I'm glad they left that out of the show. That would have been a little on the nose and obvious, I think. I mean, people figured it out back in like '96, I think. It's really interesting because a lot of people on Reddit talk about like, "Oh, what's the earliest people figured shit out?" And they posted back to a forum that was archived on the internet from like '96, '97, '98. And you can't post anymore, obviously, but all these were backed up on some servers, and they're like, these people were talking about, they were figuring it out 20 years ago. Or at least they were very, very close and kind of honest something. Is the cat on the boat with me? Yeah. <laughs> you have I to go, buddy. Go. You didn't get a ticket. Oh. Oh, God, it's a lobster. It's Roy. <laughs> his, I, I think his eyes are on the wrong side of his body. I think they should be on the top of his head. But yeah, I think uh, Daenerys might get it. I think a lot of people are saying this, I kind of agree. John, like, since it's going to be bittersweet especially, that John might be like the reluctant king. Oh, but they did it at the end of the last season. She's totally going to get knocked up. Like, do you think that she maybe, she's not gonna? Maybe she can too. They're to I think that they were. I bet that since she lost the dragon, I bet she can now. A blood sacrifice, like the witch said. Oh yeah, makes sense. But she had to give up one of her children to be able to do that. A lot of people are saying that she got a nine child. Like John's mom, that would be wonderfully ironic. That would also suck because Daenerys is a character being built up for eight seasons or whatever. Yeah. And to die so seemingly anticlimactically, people are going to be upset. That. But that's just what happens. You don't think that's how she, Do you think she'll die at all? Or do you just think that's not how she died? Because she's not a fighter. I understand. Like, it, I could see her riding her dragon in battle, but I can't imagine her being like fighting with a sword like Jon without it being really silly. Um, alright, looks like we lost the cat in transit, so that's good. He's out there somewhere. Are you lost? This is Far Harbor. We, we don't get many visitors. No, I pulled my boat right up here. Freeloaders are more help, Mainlander. Hey, man. You can get back in your boat and leave. Hey, Alan, hey. This isn't your dock. It belongs to the whole town. And that means... I think I'm supposed to be standing in front of her. welcome. Uh, sorry. You've caught us during a... Difficult time, but Alan's got a point. Not all visitors have good intentions. So, uh, what's your business here? What is this place? Well, in ancient times, this used to be a tourist town. My people have lived here and on the island for generations. But now everyone's crowded onto the docks just trying to survive another day. We have more than our fair share of problems. You aren't here to <laughs> add to them. Like the constant Kraken attacks. What do you think anything's gonna happen? They didn't introduce the horn into the show, did they? There's a dragon binder horn, right, in the books? Yeah. And the fucking crazy, um... Well, I do have a information. 
about a synth refuge on this island. Ah, another Commonwealth traveler looking for Arcadia then. Yeah, I can't remember right now. Damn it. Mariners ain't coming. Something's coming through the fog! You, help us defend the town and I'll answer any questions you have. What Take the fuck is coming through the town? It is the cat. He's down. he's pissed. <laughs> he's pissed that I dropped him in the water. You do. We might not be able to rescue you in time. Alright, lady, where are we going? What the fuck is happening? Something's out there. You sure you saw something? This ain't a drill. No time. Look to the fog. They're coming. Go for it. Oh, defend yourselves. Ready all. Fire at will. Hey. Me to the death. That's just a riot roach. Okay, I'm not concerned about him. I'm concerned about that thing. Oh, it's going to get better before it gets... It's going to get worse before it gets better, I mean. But I meant the opposite. Switch my weapons. <sighs> I need a machine gun. There we go. Let's just use this. Guys, cut it out. I'm not jumping down there. I'm fucking not crazy. You run away again? All right. Well done, all. You're Open you're welcome, Jane Lynch. Avery. And now you see what we're up against. The fog and the Fog monsters out have taken the whole island from my people. The cat's gonna be the big bad guy. You deserve this. What's that's how I felt in Left 4 Dead after where to begin? It was always like that. The fog's radioactive, right? That's terrible. There are pockets of it, the deep fog, that are hard fallout. And as deadly as that is, that's only part of the problem. Things live in the fog, thrive. You think what attacked the harbor's bad? Oh, there's far worse further inland. If you managed to survive despite all that, you must be tough. <laughs> My outer shell is like a coconut. Right. I just... I'm done cowering behind your damn hull, Avery. Time you let me deal with the real problem. With the right people and my guns, I can end those children of Adam cultists for good. The fog's been here forever. The children didn't make it. Before the rat eaters came, the fog was under control. They come, and it all goes wrong. It's time we do something. No need to burden a stranger with all this nonsense. What's the deal with the children of Adam? They're religious folk. If you want details, you'd have... We used to have a peace with them until... Now that's enough. That preacher came into the harbor saying that it was, uh -huh. it was Adam's goddamn will that we uh -huh. and that the Adam would wipe this whole place. If it were up to me, you'd hang for what you did to that preacher, Alan. What did he do to the preacher? Alan pulled a gun on him. He gave him a wedgie. Reached for his. 
We don't have police, or really any law. Just custom and popular sentiment. And after everything the priest <laughs> That seems like a highly dangerous way to live. Or doing anything to Alan would have made matters worse. Have the children made the fog worse? Absolutely not. There's not one bit of evidence. Geiger counters don't lie, Avery. The fog's gotten more lethal year over year. And now the fog's covering the whole island. But only after the children came. You know as well as I do that's happened before. Sure, people have theories the children are involved, but no one, and I mean no one, has proof. Sounds like you should deal with the children. Do anyone want to say that? I meant. Permanently. I'm not sure that's going to make our job here easier. Oh. Mainlander sees the sense in all this. No, I, I just, I was asking it as a question. Point. Sorry for all. Right. You're headed for Acadia. Getting there will be dangerous. You'll need a guide. No one knows the fog like him. But uh, word of warning, he's a bit of an acquired taste. I have to lick him? <laughs> What's old Longfellow's story? He's the best hunter on the island. Fearless. Wait, so what did, what did, you, what did you settle on? You Great. don't think Daenerys is going to die at all? To get to Acadia. He's the only Do you think anyone will? But uh, people around here are known I mean, for being I've, stubborn, willful, and other. I was going to say, with, with a, so unless it's happy-go-lucky, with a war us. on and winter freezing everything, and politics still happening, I feel like almost all of the cast has to die. Either the Hound or Mountain. Like, I don't see why bears would make it out of this, unless he's cowering in, like, a vault. Every, I feel like everyone's got to eat it somehow. What can you tell me about Acadia? Ask Longfellow. He's the only one that's been there. Can... Can the White Walkers all win and then be in charge, but all be dressed like the main cast? <laughs> oh yeah, they'll get turned into them. Thanks for the info. Best place to look for Longfellows at the bar. It's the last the flight. Point. And uh, Ask Jack, you're so optimistic. Get a hand around town if you're able. Even if it's slapped away, people like the Mariner and Cassie and others need help. And let me say something you might not hear again. Thank you. All right, time to jump on her head. I've killed a lot of mushrooms in Mario Brothers like that. All your medical needs. Uh, so what I'm curious about is. How are they going to? Kill all the White Walkers. Are they just gonna like pull a magical fire start out and John's gonna kill three million White Walkers, people who've been frozen for a thousand years? Or is like that, yeah. I was gonna say I don't want it to be a Deus Ex Machina where they're like, oh, we got a fire sword, they just like plunge it into the ground, they all die like magic. <laughs> because that was the problem with um, Mass Effect. The writers were like, oh, there's going to be no Deus Ex Machina. We're not going to push a button and then you win. You and then that's how the game ended. It's like, well, you have to come up with a super weapon and when you push a button, you win. So I'm, I'm like, it should be fought for. A pleasure to meet you. Likewise. I hope the island doesn't Yeah, but Martin does. Or slow, for that matter. I don't suppose you'd be willing to lend a hand in order to do proper repairs. I need tools, specialized tools, and they won't be easy to come by. Maybe that guy will actually, maybe the lead one will actually fight John this time and not bitch out. You've kept the walls together this long. Why do you need special tools now? I want to build the hull up. I was just saying maybe that White Walker will fight, the leader, the leader one will fight John this time instead of punking out. Sign me up. I'll help. Eagles Cove Tanner. Tools are certain to be there. No? You totally do. I know you do. Huh. Mainlander. Great. You helped us. A lot of people have clues on their back here. Listen. You're that mainlander who just got here. <laughs> Better watch yourself. Brain's fun and I, I like when we would come up with theories for Star Wars or Marvel movies or whatever because then we watch them and if we're right we're like yes <laughs> validated I predicted the exact ending of Ant-Man 
Two, yeah. Sounds interesting. I'd like to hear it. I thought <laughs> because I missed the first part you said. My family, the Daltons, was the pride of Far Harbor for generations. It was lumber and fishing that mm -hmm. the island's been getting revenge. Ah, but now our story takes with the stranger's help, the last living. You mean me? Wait, are you saying that I'm the mysterious stranger who's gonna help you avenge your family? Ah, you're a quick one. Good. You'll need your wits about you, because your part in the story is filled with danger. Like that cat. Now, on to the first chapter in our tale of vengeance. That would be the sad story of freckle-faced Petey. Petey was my cousin. He was a good lad, never caused trouble. He thought he was out foraging at the National Park campground when the island sick some feral ghouls on him. Island's a sneaky bastard when Anyway, he made it back to town. Uh -huh. Of course, those ferals are still out there. Where did you say these ghouls? National Park campground. Those ghouls are as good as dead. Good, good. The last plank. I wonder what I would name a bar if I had a bar. <laughs> you want a bite? Need a mixture I can take Everyone. your order. Everyone. Excuse me. We're trying to have a conversation here. What you hey, Mariner says the island. Open your damn ears. <laughs> Talk with the mariner. Lord knows I she's always carrying on about something. better way of greeting it than to have another round. On the house. Right, is he just crazier? Time to party. Here's the Mitch. Mitch. Mainlander, today's your lucky day. Free beer for you. <laughs> What's the catch? Not a catch to be found. A full bar ain't no use to a corpse. So, drink up. You stay here over long and the fog will claim you. Might as well meet her with a belly full of fire, eh? Guess how many boats you could leave? What's so special about the fog on the island? Can you feel it? Even here, as safe as anyone can be on this damned island. Uh -huh. It's a lie. You walk inland. And kick you up in no time. The madness will. The island will. The fog can drive you crazy. Yes. Are, are you all crazy? Sure. Before I proceed. The trappers you find inland. Some were always murdered. Sure. But many just got lost in the fog. Right. The lady outside. This guy. If you have any sense, return where you came from, and don't. If it's so dangerous, why <laughs> do you stay? This is our home. Call yourself a proper man, or what? Right. Besides, we all gotta die. Uh huh. Not today. You're... All right. Let me let me go talk to the person I'm supposed to talk to. Oh wait, no. This is the guy who's gonna Excellent. give me a way to the place. You've collected an issue of Islanders Almanac. You've unlocked POI map markers across the island. Thanks, Nick. Very insightful of you. Sorry, I can do, literally do anything else if you're not cool with this. Okay. Are you good? Yeah. Okay. Let's go do blood tide and kill those ghouls. Do you have any super mutants or mainland? We got some by all Mainlanders percent. don't last long on the island. Hi. Captain Avery's alright, I guess. 
Rude. Is the game supposed to look like this? Because I feel like it's not. Yeah, I guess. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some uh, Rad X, which gives me Rad Resistance. I also have Rad Away for later, which will lower my radiation intake. Well, this is going to be bad. Just so they can't have an open casket funeral. <laughs> I just really want to spite him if I can. I can make shit on the chemistry station here, but I don't know what the fuck I could, like, what would be useful for you to make. So I'm gonna just not even fuck around with chemistry. What do I know about science? A worrying sentence. <laughs> Don't you hate when you have to shoot your wolf to death? No, Nymeria. No, no. What a tease. That was obviously Nymeria, right? Didn't she recognize her or whatever? I think she was. Yeah. A lot of people were debating, they're like, was that just a wolf? And it, she bonded with it for a second and maybe thought it was hers, or was that actually hers? One sleeping in there. Wake up, idiot! Okay, he's not getting up. He's not dead, but he's not getting up. I don't think he was snoring. I don't think he was. I don't think he was sleeping. Sleeping. Also just miss every shot. Wasn't so bad. This weird color scheme makes me feel like I'm in a dream. Wait, 
Can I not have to walk back there? Okay, good. Robot Workbench allows for the construction of a wide range of robots, including combinations never approved by General Atomics International or Robco. Oh, sorry, it's me bumping you. Hungry. Yeah, I ate a lot of Chinese food. Want to significantly increase your weapon's melee damage? Add a bayonet. Add more bullets. Let's turn this in. I wiped out the feral ghouls at the campground. What was that? Yeah, yeah. They're all crazy, I mean. Here's 200 caps for you. Ask for more money. So, who else needs to be avenged? Well, I'm glad you asked. I've been thinking about what's next, and then it came to me. We all love our grandparents, don't we? You'd never want something awful to happen to them. Nobody would. What happened to him? He had a farm little ways north of here. The island sent something after him. A huge monster. Mean as spit. With claws to snap steel. Uh -huh. Grandpa bravely stood his ground. If you can take out that shell-backed devil, it'll send up... Right. Where can I find it? Follow the coast. That fog crawler is gonna pay <laughs> for Grandpa George. That's the spirit. I sincerely hope when I get old that my nickname is Grandpa George. <laughs> well, that's fucking death if I missed that jump. Fresh lobster? I'm in. I don't see anything lobster or fresh in here. Fun fact, I have never had lobster. I want to, I want to try it. Yeah, I mean, I love fried shrimp. They have that in a lot of stuff though. They have that in like, oh God. I mean, what do you mean, how you eat it? Was it fried shrimp? Um, it was good, I guess. We went for it. It didn't have the shell on it still, did it? Dinner there, and they gave us shrimp. Uh, I had no idea that. Uh, if it's fried, I mean, you kind of don't have to. You can just munch the whole thing. I wasn't. I know, I know. I'm just saying. If it's grilled, you could probably also eat the tail. I did. Okay, good. <laughs> if you didn't, I would have disowned you. <laughs> it wasn't the way you do it. I just want to kill this monster. Where is it? It's all the way up there. I have a better idea. Quit to desktop. I'm just kind of tipsy. I don't want to run all the way up there and kill that fog monster. But thanks for hanging out with me, Kara, on my stream. Thanks for hanging out, nerds. Half Jack, Nickel, who I think left to go install something. Have a good night.